What's going on? We back. Motor City Sports Talk. The owners have voted 31 to 1 to make pass interference and defensive pass interference uh, that were non reviewable calls reviewable now at the NFL owner meeting. Let's talk about the double standard hypocrisy about the NFL and a little bit about sports in general. So we back. It's your boy CJ Goodfellow doing big things. Appreciate everybody for showing love. Blessings to the brothers and sisters out there. Just blessing me and just sharing the videos and just tuning in. I definitely appreciate it. And let's talk, all right? Obviously, uh, Sean, if you don't know Sean Payton, the head coach for the New Orleans Saints, who's probably going to be the Cowboys coach next year, is on a competition committee, and he probably convinced everybody to change this rule. No, don't change the rule. Now, nah, what was the rule change when we when Detroit, when Detroit when the Detroit Lions got played in the playoffs versus the Dallas Cowboys, you know, and the call wasn't called? You know what I'm saying? Wasn't Sean Payton one sitting there, sitting on, uh, sitting on top of his table, crying and, and bitching and complaining for us? When we complain, we just told to shut up, and it goes for a lot of mid to small market teams. When we complain, it's we called to shut up. They change rules after it, it happened, and it benefits the New England Patriots, like the Tuck rule with the, with Charles Woodson and the Raiders, or after it happened to the New Orleans Saints. The New Orleans Saints really ain't got no lineage, no history for real. And I've never met a Saints fan that got this the New Orleans Saints or their best or their favorite team. Most Saints fans got one or two or two or three other teams or one or two other teams that they support. You know what I'm saying? Now because now they win a little bit and they got Drew Brees, they got a little clout. And they they in their bag right now and they 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 formidable right now. But I remember when nobody in that damn uh in that damn uh Mercedes Benz dome back in the day when they just called it the Superdome. And now that it benefits New Orleans and it's Drew Brees and Sean Payton, they pop and now they want to move and act on that. I mean, why they ain't move and act on it when it happened to the Lions and when it happened to other people? You know, when it happened to other teams. Now they want to change the rules. No, I don't review it. If it ain't been reviewed in the last 20, 30 years, no. Only stuff that should be reviewed is catches and fumbles and stuff of that nature. Don't review it now. We start reviewing everything. These games going to be six, seven hours. No. We got to live with that. And, of course, the Saints going to live with it, too. But everybody else that happened to should got to live with it. Ain't no reviewing all this stuff, man. They want to review everything. You know, they don't know what a catch, what's not a catch, what a catch is in the NFL. No, ain't no time to review all this. I disagree with this. And the only team that voted against it was the Cincinnati Bengals. And I agree with Mike Brown. Don't always agree with their owner, but I agree with them. No. No, I don't go back and review this and stuff for it because it's still going to come back and it's going to... It's going to bite the lions in the ass. I'm going to tell you that right now. However, however the, the pendulum go, whichever way it, it slide or it, it, it swing, it's still going to come bite, bite the lions in the ass. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. It don't even matter. They should have just left this rule alone. They, they, is, they is changing the game and playing God in the NFL. They are changing the game a ton. Now you can't, I mean, these quarterbacks getting overblown, over inflatuated stats. You know what I'm saying? They throwing five, six hundred, six thousand yards, five thousand yards, whatever it is. Because you know why? And then they getting, they getting their stats inflated and saying they better than Joe Montana, better than Joe Thousand, better than Elway, better than Brett, and some of these other guys that had it tough. Where they can, it wasn't no uh, strike zone where you only could hit a quarterback there or you couldn't hit a receiver, defensive receiver, or you couldn't jam a receiver past five yards. Joe, I mean, like I said before, I can never compare Stafford and Drew Brees and, and some of these other quarterbacks to to Joe Theismann, to Joe Montana, to Drew, to Drew even Drew Bledsoe and, and, and John Elway and Dan Marino. They played in a different era. Had you not been able to touch Jerry Rice, Jerry Rice would be by far – the greatest receiver of all time. Joe Montana be by far the greatest quarterback of all time. Now everything is being versed and, and being really put in, in a new athlete's corner. Now they want to review everything. I Man, imagine if they reviewed a ton of stuff back in the day, a ton of Super Bowl winners would look different. A ton of playoff, playoff looks would look different. You know, so how is it fair to all the other teams that had to suffer? Now you're changing and moving forward. You know, leave it the way it is. Ain't no point you go sit there for 20, 30 minutes, 10, 15 minutes to, uh, to, and see the permanent if a, if a play was a fair or foul. No, nah, man. Just go off your eyeball. All this reviewing shit, they don't review fouls in the NBA like that. They don't review, oh, if that was a travel or not a travel or if he flopped or not flopped. Forget all that, man. Play the game. We be there three, four, four hours. That's it. Cause if, and I'm telling a lot of Lions fans, it's going to come back to hers. Watch what I tell you, man. 
For somehow, some way, this this rule gonna come back to bite us in the ass. Now, some lines from like, I'm glad this happened. If this was implemented when it was Pedigree Watch, it's gonna be a Jared Davis NFC Championship game or something. We about to go to the Super Bowl and and, and they review it. You know, he he didn't turn his head, or it's a questionable pass interference, and then they gonna overturn it, and then we go. I'm telling you, it's gonna come back and bite us in the hindsight. I just, I'm tired of them playing God and trying to improve the game when they making it worse. And it's just my personal opinion on that. But I appreciate everybody for checking in. Let me know what you guys think. I'll link the article in the description. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out to the email. If you have a business question, inquiry, sponsorship, or a video request, continue to share, share the videos. I definitely appreciate everybody for showing love. If you want to make a donation, that link's in the description. But I don't even need donations. I just need y'all to do me one better. Continue to share the videos. It's the best way you can bless me. But, um, you know, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. One time for the one time. Y'all know what the business is. Mercy Sports Talk. We gone.